Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. An in-state battle between Notre Dame and Purdue. The Fighting Irish and the Boilermakers are on the field, finishing up pregame warm-up. The intensity starting to rise. A lot at stake. Not only bragging rights, there's also the battle for the Shillelagh Trophy. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Notre Dame is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He'll return it from the six. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Red, two. Red. Nice catch on that one. They'll bring him down at the 26. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. From their own 26-yard line, first down. Fires this one. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. He throws left and he pulls it down. Good tackle there in space. Boy, how about the points? This kid wasn't worried about the blitz at all. Both middle linebackers were coming, and he stayed calm and delivered the football for a new set of downs. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. At the 49-yard line, Hall gets around three on the halfback draw. They came with a good blitz from the edge here and disrupted the blocking scheme of this run. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 33-yard line, first down. Fires it out. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. That will make it second and four. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. The 10, and he's got it. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. Just a yard there. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Second down and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. This is the 11th play of this drive. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle made just outside the goal line. That reception good for seven yards. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he got it. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's head to Morgantown. And for West Virginia, they've won two straight. The Mountaineers pull it out by four. In another game, let's take a peek at what's going on in Piscataway. The Scarlet Knights continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. The Scarlet Knights are on top, 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Heading for the corner. The 50. Inside the 30. He scores. What a play. He makes the PAT. ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Bring him down for a sack on the play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. the stop around the 22-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Third down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Reach out. 225. Inside handoff. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That brings up fourth and 15. Pendleton awaiting the return. Pendleton fields at the 44. He got hit hard. So they're just about set to get the game going again. 
Notre Dame holds a four-point lead. Completes it across the middle. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Got some open field. He's tackled at the 18. Gain of 18 yards. That makes it so at the end of one, the Fighting Irish lead 7-3. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. And he's stopped behind the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From the 20-yard line, second down. the ground with the tailback and they push him out around the 16 yard line makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go Kirk you and I have talked to the coaches we've talked to his teammates Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Notre Dame is up four. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's check in on the SEC, where speed reigns. The Gators unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. Florida's on top, 14-7. You can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He takes it right side for a good game. Paul picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 32. the middle and he's stuck. Call the loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Roger, Roger. Mike 56, Mike 56. Thank you. Go. Check, check, check. He's got it with room to run. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it fourth and inches. inches. Lane to punt. <laughs> Pendleton fields it at the 26. Tackle made to the 33 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Notre Dame is up seven. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That brings in second and one. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check right. Hey, check, check, check. Back 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. Notre Dame's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Throws middle to the tight end. It's on the ground. The defense falls on it. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Notre Dame up seven points. Got some open field. Touchdown, Irish. Quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. We take you down to Dura and from Northwestern. They get into the end zone on the last play of the game. Northwestern gets the W, 27-24. Two touchdown difference, Reese, 17-3 here. Thornton gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 34. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. Get to that quickly. Tackle around the 50-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From midfield, it's first down. Take a timeout. That's their first of the half. A pickup of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Get this, get this. He might not be able to get the pass off. Steps up, rifles it right. Got a man, watch out here. The Boilermakers use their second timeout. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Thompson 
intended receiver on the play. That brings him second and goal. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. That's a loss of two yards. That makes it third and goal. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Jack is deep to receive, and look out, folks. He's looking to run another one back for six. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Williams has been known to be such a great quarterback, but when you sit down with him in person and you look at him, you see that smile sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center. We saw that this week. Absolutely, Brad. I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting, I looked over at you, and we just kind of kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for from quarterbacks. Obviously, he's very talented, but I think he has the confidence that you're speaking of, and I think he just brings the intangibles to the table. And, and so far, how can you not be impressed with everything that he's done? Well, he's had it in the first half so far. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 40. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. We've still got a half of football remaining. Notre Dame's in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Pendleton takes it from the six. He's out to the 30, tries to get around the corner, and he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. to about the 37-yard line. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quickly incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. 
But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. He lets it go. Great concentration to haul it in. Tackle made at about the 11. First down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Pitches it. He's got the corner, and he shoved out of bounds right around the eight-yard line. That makes it They'll line it up again on third down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Notre Dame. on the extra point. So an eight-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Parker from the three. Gets to about the 27-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Four yards check away here out. on second down. And he's immediately tackled. Five-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. With the pass incomplete. And 
for Cooper. He brings his receiving yardage to 100. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 24-13. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 34. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Taken down around the 49-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Down at the 31 yard line. That's a team of 13 on the way. First down. I'm here all day. Hey, watch that, watch out. Check right 54. Right 54. It's complete. And he's tackled at the 21 yard line. Right on the tackle at the 21 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw, and he is drilled at the 13. Gain eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Two-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That brings him second and goal. This turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Notre Dame's in front by 11. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. He makes the PAT. to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. 
He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Has all day to throw. He sails it long. The senior makes the catch. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. On the throw, incomplete pass. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Fumble, loose ball. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Out of bounds, right around the 22-yard line. the grab past the marker. First down. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Call it a game of 10 yards. First down. First down grab. Tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Big opening. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 25. Game of 18 on the play. First down. To him again, and down he goes at the 17 yard line. That's a game on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's a game on the play. First, First down. down. Two times, two times. And he converts the extra point. Notre Dame is lining up to kick this one off.
And he'll return this one from the seven. And down he goes at the 20. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He's got 300 yards passing now. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Oh, gains around three yards on the run. That'll make it second and seven. Less than three minutes in the game. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's third and seven. Ball on the 36. Tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Second and 14. Ball on the 46-yard line. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 31. yard line. It's first down. They'll work the left. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Just over a minute left. Here's the tight end, has a first down. Tackle made at the 16. From the 16 yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Defense coming and the ball comes out. And they hit him in the backfield. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. Tenth play of the drive. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike wants to go. Under heavy pressure. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. He unloads it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. to the end zone. Wow, you just gotta love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. When the first down marker is that far away, 
someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and, Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. This one's over. 38-13, Notre Dame. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>